Monrovia Canyon Park is covered with mud and debris this morning, and it's now closed indefinitely. CBS 2's Cara Finstrom is live with us in Monrovia to look at the cleanup, Cara, and new information homeowners will be glad to hear. Yeah, just within the last couple of minutes, got off the phone with Monrovia city leaders. They say they are lifting the evacuation warning for those nearby neighborhoods that has been in place. Uh, so some very good news for them. Behind us, though, though, those are the hillsides that were charred during the recent Bobcat fire, and there is a lot of damage that's being cleaned up. New chopper video shows the thick mud and debris that flowed into Canyon Park. Monrovia city crews moving in to assess the damage already know mud flows damaged roads and parking areas and contaminated the water and drinking fountains and restrooms. A spokesperson tells us heavy equipment will soon be brought in to start the cleanup. Once it's safe, dedicated volunteers will join them. We're all over 70, so, you know, just a couple hours, you know, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and it builds up. Gabby Gresscheck belongs to the preservationist group just recognized nationally for maintaining this wilderness area. It's just beautiful. The group dug in after the two earlier storms that washed down Bobcat fire debris. Wiped everything out. The trees, the stumps, the waterfall was 35 foot. Now it's about 25 because all the silt underneath it. Now they're standing by to do it again. City leaders say fortunately this storm did not trigger damaging mud flows in the neighborhoods around Ridgeside and Oakglade Drives where evacuation warnings were issued. Local Kathleen Cooper is optimistic the charred hillsides above her home will continue healing and says the rest of the drought-stricken Southland needed this rain. Hallelujah. I don't have to go out and water this week, do I? <laughs> and that certainly is the bright side. Now, the damage that the park behind us got, that did prompt local officials to declare a local emergency yesterday. That's going to free up some of the resources, the funds they need to do the cleanup. And again, Leslie, we did just get confirmed from local city leaders that they are lifting those local evacuation warnings that were in place for some city uh, neighborhoods. Uh, they say that notices will be going out to all the homeowners who are impacted. That is great news there, Cara. Thank you so much.